everyone welcome back to the fancy dollar and for those who are new welcome um so we're just gonna be cash stuffing today one thousand two hundred and thirty six dollars um last night i had a ball i wanted to let you guys know that i literally st i'm still like recovering from a low hangover that's why i have the a green juice right here got this from um a nearby like breakfast spot um it's a cal tonic it has cal cucumbers lemon nectar and like i think um something else but it's really good i had literally eight lemon drops last night because i was celebrating that i have gotten that new job so congrats to me so let's just get started so you have one two three four five hundred 600, 700, 800, 900, 950, 970, 990, 1010, 1030, 1050, 1070, 1090, 1110, 1130, 1150, 1170, 1180, 1190, 95, 1200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Alright, so we have 12, 36. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but the last like 420s are like so crispy. I'm going to save that for, um, you know, my long-term saving saving funds so we're just gonna get started with our wallet um got bits of coins this time around sorry guys for that loud noise from the coin but yeah so that's that and let's so I do have one receipt from this week, I think, actually. This is all from last week. I'm sorry. Forgot to take them out, but usually I scan them into my Fetch app. Um, you basically take pictures of your e-receipts or paper receipts, and you redeem points for gift cards. Um, so yeah, so it's stuffing for my spending. I have $2 left. Gasoline, I have 10, but I am rolling that over. Dining out, I went out for drinks and oysters yesterday, so that's displenished. As well as my cash envelope for dining out, I actually had to take money out of that to go get drinks and oysters. Um, she was nice enough to pay for like literally all my drinks, so I just had to pay for like my oysters. And I had 8 lemon drops. Groceries doesn't have anything. Work mills have one, two, three, three dollars. So these five dollars are going to my dollar savings challenge, and I actually have a surprise for you guys for the dollar saving challenge and other saving challenges. And just stay tuned for that. But let's get to stuff, cash stuffing. My spending is gonna get actually twenty five. So these are like my new envelopes that I've made. Um, I think I like this spot better. Gas is getting 50. So now we got 60 in gas. So I'm recording this on a Friday and I'm off today for a good Friday. Um, starting this upcoming week, I will be working majority remotely since I'm only going in Monday and Tuesdays. Um, my new job is fully remote so that job I won't be transitioned over until the 24th because in my department now I have to make sure that I fulfill my duties before I transfer over. Um, my new position is still within my same company. Um, I'm just moving up a scale. Dining out is getting 40. Even though I shouldn't be eating out anymore this entire month, but, but we will see. I do have another date with her at the end of the month when we're going to the five-star 
Rushi, five star uh, sushi restaurant. Groceries also getting 40. And work meals isn't getting anything since I won't be at work as much next week, and I'll just um, pack leftover dinner for lunch. So that is it for my wallet cash stuffing. Okay, um, let's jump straight into long term. Oops. So medical. So guys, I wanted to show you guys before I move on. I just showed it in my budget with me videos, but I know some people don't watch that. I have created a new cash envelope tracker. Um, this gives me like more aesthetic and like chic and simple cleaner vibes and I do have this in my Etsy shop and it's also going to be linked down below if you guys are interested. So medical is getting $20 and now we have $500, 520 540 560 in medical. So yeah, since now I am in line for that new job and I'm working remotely, I'm actually going to be able to keep doing my nails and I'm actually going to be booking my eyelash appointment again since now I'll be able to get my lashes done again, which is so exciting to me. Dental is getting skipped. Um, first home is getting $150 per usual. So now our first home has 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 20,500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 21,000, 100, 200, 240. So we have 21,000 and 240 in first home. That's great. So I added this new envelope as for furniture, um, but I will start stuffing this for the next cash stuffing. And I've also created beach trips again because I want to separate that out from vacation because vacation is like whether we go into like an all-inclusive resort out the country, whereas beach trips will just head down to like um, New Jersey. Um, I live relatively close to the beaches, so. I, w I wanted to incorporate this because we might go down for like Memorial Day or July 4th just in case we don't actually book a vacation for you know some holidays where we're just gonna go for like a day trip or two or three days to the beach. Vacation is getting 50. I'm actually gonna switch out this 50 for these cleaner ones. So now vacation has 500, 600, 700, 720, 740. Student loan is getting $10. So now it has 100 in the bank, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. So 188 in student loans. Um, one of my supporters and subscribers did ask if I will be putting my envelopes onto my Etsy shop. Um, yes, I will be soon. Um, since I will be working remotely, I will have a lot more time for myself. So I'll be incorporating these. I think I'll be selling these about around 2 to $3 per envelope. Um, but I will also have like a bundle where if you order more, it will be cheaper. So yeah, um, I'll let you know when I will be adding these to the Etsy shop. I might not start until beginning of May. Barbershop is getting skipped. Wedding is actually getting $20. So now wedding has 100, 200, 220, 230, 240, 245. Emergency is getting $10. And now it has 100, 200, 220, 230, 240, 245, 250 in emergency. 
I want to get this up to maybe um, $3,000 by the end of the year. My spending isn't getting anything, but it will be getting stuff once I complete my March savings. I think I have like $5 left, and then those savings are going to go into my savings at the end. Um, then my boyfriend saving is getting $5. So that has 100, 200, 300, 400 in the bank, 420, 425, 430. And I also added this for future baby when I get married. Um, I want to be able to save this envelope up so that way, God forbid, I get pregnant right when I get engaged or married. I want to be able to have a funding for my baby or babies so yeah so that is it for this binder i'm just gonna move these up okay now we're gonna straight into my our high priority um city we'll be getting 200 so 100, 200. Um, City Premier has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 620, 630. Um, I still have two more um, cash stuffing for this um, because this is not getting paid on the 21st. So it should relatively have about $1,030 $1, for this month's payment. And then this one is getting skipped because this will be getting paid next week and it already has 410 for this payment. Credit Union is getting 51. So now Credit Union personal loan has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 420, 21, 22, 23, 24, 424. Credit card annual fees is getting five. So now it has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. Porsche is getting its usual 195. So now it has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 620, 640, 660, 680, 700, 720, 740, 760, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 780, this will be taken out to be paid for the 17th, which is in about a week and a half. Gas and Easy Pass is getting five dollars. So Gas and Easy Pass now has 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 115, 120. That's getting skipped. Car insurance is getting 50. The car insurance now has 500, 600, 700, 75, 706. This is due on May 8th for my six, pre six month premium. It is 905 for my Porsche. Car maintenance is $40. Um, I'm saving up a relatively good amount is because um, I just want to just in case. Um, even though I have tire and wheel warranty. Um, I just want to save up for like oil change when I go buy oil. So my boyfriend and I do our own car maintenance. Um, he, I have a portion of BMW, and he has a, a Mercedes Benz and a Honda. So we do all our car maintenance, whether it's the transmission fluid, any filters, oil change, tire tire change, and stuff like that. Um, we just go over to his uncle, um, auto shop, and we just do it ourselves. So car maintenance. Has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 514. I think I will stop stuffing car maintenance for a little while since 
514 is a good amount of funds because like I said we do do our car maintenance and we do save a, a shit ton excuse my language a shit ton of money so yep gym membership is also getting skipped so that is it for this binder then we're going to jump straight into variable expenses I made some new envelopes for this as well not new but I added it back in so eating out is getting 50 and that's all it has because I took money out for yesterday to go out to eat I have taken out personal and I added back beauty and health because I needed to separate those two so I have like a visual sense of what I need and what I don't need and personal is so broad and vague which is like it didn't worked out for me so I made new envelopes for it so beauty and health is getting skipped because I already bought my probiotics probiotics and vitamins gym getting skipped daily is getting skipped organizing is skipping shopping is actually getting $100 that's the last, last hundred so we now we have one 150 170 180 185 in shopping Electronics, I did say um, I made another envelope because I do want to see but for a new phone probably for next year. Um, household is not getting anything. Birthdays is actually always getting its usual 50. So now birthday has 500, 600, 700, 750, 770. Seven seventy birthday. That's really good. Gifts and giving is getting five ones. One, two, three, four, five, and that is all I have. Um, I did have fifty in there, but I used it to get my dad a small gift at work. Um, if you guys haven't checked that out, I had, I have combined my unstuffing cash envelopes with my budget with me videos. So please do check that out if you guys are interested in that. Holidays is getting five as well. So now it has 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 345. YouTube is getting five as well. I have to double check that I have another one behind this five. Um, so YouTube now has 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. So I think about for my next YouTube giveaway for the 500 mark, I think instead of giving away envelopes and stuff, please do let me know um, other options that you guys would like. Um, I was thinking about um, giving, well not giving, choosing two winners and they both will get $100 each. I think that's a good idea because I feel like money is a necessity over envelopes. But yeah, so let's get into the surprise. So I know a lot of you guys probably don't watch the budget with me videos, but I did mention that I have created these monthly um, saving challenges because my current one, which I'm about to stuff the last of it, because I'm missing that one five dollar right here, that lingering five dollars. I fell as though. I'm putting five dollars every day which is 35 a week I felt like it got kind of boring and I wanted to switch things up and I made this so every single week is a different amount so I did have January through March in the back because that's the months that work oh that months are over I did not put 2023 or 2024 I did not date them because then you could reuse this you can use a marker and just wipe it off so April um, the first week is 50, 30, 20, 25, and then May is like 55, 30, 25. So I didn't do a large amount because I wanted to be, um, I wanted to be, I guess, relatively affordable to stuff these because I know there's a lot of these saving challenges where there's like 155 or 180 or 120 when a lot of people might have low income where they they wouldn't be able to stuff that. So I made a smaller amount so that way you guys can manage those small amount saving challenges. So yeah, so let's just cross that out. So that five, 
And now we should have a total of 155 in here. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 140, 145, 150, 155. So this, I'm put this aside because we're going to put this into my key savings. And now we're going to stuff April. Okay, I got my marker. And we're just going to circle this in. Just like that. This is so cute. I love it. I will be adding this into my Etsy shop as well. And I will be able to make this and ship these out to you guys. So this is like the same design as my cash envelopes. It's the Peekable style. So that is getting the last 50. So it looks like this. And it's so freaking cute. Okay. And for our dollar saving challenge, another announcement, uh, well, another not an announcement, but another item that I made. So I made this a one dollar saving challenge. So you can just like circle, I mean, fill in the hearts with any marker, a five dollar one, a ten dollar one, and a twenty dollar one. So I went from these. To so I can just get rid of this, which is like so boring to me. So yeah. So now we're starting our one dollar savings challenge. So we have 100, 200, 100, 200, I wish. <laughs> one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four dollar, five dollars. So we're just gonna So, I was able to fill in five hearts for five dollars. And I'm gonna wait this until this is dry so that way it doesn't like smudge on the opposite side. So, once so I made this a little bit bigger so then that way you can fit more ones in there. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna put this to the side for it to dry before I close it. And I'm gonna put this. March savings into my kitty savings. So now in Katie savings, we have one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, three thousand five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. 820, 840, 860, 880, 900, 920, 930, 940, 45, 50, 55. So we have 3,955 in my savings, which is great. I can't wait to save up like 10,000. So that is that for this binder. And yeah, so going back to this, I will be adding the $1, $5, $10, and $20 savings challenge um, to Etsy shop. And I will also be adding the month to month um, saving challenge as well. But please do let me know. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be adding this to my Etsy shop along with my envelopes in the beginning of May. Or I will just add these now so I can just start making these. So that way I won't be bombarded with orders when I do add the envelopes to my Etsy shop. So yeah, so I'll be taking the monthly saving challenge folder out. And for my $1 saving challenge, still not sure what I'm going to do. I might just take this out and put it into my shopping. But who knows. But yeah, I'm just going to leave that there for now. So yeah, so with further ado, that is it for this cash stuffing video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!